Hello everybody, my name is Sasha and welcome to my channel. And today in this video I'm going to share with you the main differences between Finland and Russia. People relations. If you have some problem and you will come to some like... Um, for example, let's say also to the university. Mm, that's my favorite one. For example, when I was studying in Finland, um, like, and I needed to come to Russia to pass the exams. So I came back to Russia and I needed to find the teachers to whom I need to pass these exams by my own because I uh, like passed the, the exams not with my group, not with my class, but like, you know, individually. I found one of the teachers and I told, I told to her all of my situation and beforehand we also like, I called to her like by phone and asked like when it would be okay if I come, if I pass the exam and blah, blah, blah. So, and I came to her and she spoke to me like, like I'm shit. I mean, she was she was super like arrogance. Uh, she was like, well, huh, what do you do in your Finland? I don't care. You skip like all of the lessons. Uh -huh. So she like you know talked without any respect. I mean, I didn't know that person, and uh, uh, well, <laughs> we are like you know supposed maybe to have some like official relations, like and spoke normally, like not you know to like in this tone that I did something wrong and you're like, you know, treating me like I'm the last person in this world or something. That's what oftenly can happen in Russia, you know, in some like structures. There is just like so much, you know, of these examples uh, when people can be rude to you without any even given reason, I really hate it. After I came to Finland and I needed to face with this woman in my university, I really was just in small shock because I already like, you know, had this, I used to, that people in Finland, they were so polite, they were so helpful, like I didn't really face with all of this like rudeness or stuff. And it was just so kind of, you know, I thought just, I just forgot how it feels in Russia, how you need to communicate with people that sometimes you need to be like strong as stone because they can be, you know, just, they can act like, not in a nice way to you. The second example which also happened to me, we like uh, for our movie uh, wanted to uh, like connect with some theater and like to have some shootings in there or like we wanted that they will uh, like make a post about us or something. So something just relating to the movie and I sent an official letter and honestly I tried to find like the whole name because in Russia we have like, uh, if you're talking to somebody, you can't just uh, like call them by their first name because we also have kind of like, uh, not the surname, but the third name. So it's kind of like name of your father. And uh, for example, if uh, like you would come to Russia and we will be in some official structure, you would probably need to call me Alexandra Alexandrovna because my father was Alexandra also. And kind of, you know, we're just using this like father's name to call people officially. I need I needed to send an official letter to this theater, uh, to some like, uh, you know, to some person to there. And I really tried to find in the internet his surname, but even in their official like theater website, there wasn't his surname. I just sent the letter with his first name, let's say for example, like, um, I don't know, like Anton. <laughs> so, hello Anton, like, can you please blah blah blah, like, help us with something. So, and then, like, uh, I think after like 40 minutes, I got a phone call from this theater and the guy was talking to me also in like this, you know, rude, super unpolite mode that how you dare to send, like, you know, to us the letter, like, without this third name. Are you like, uh, you know, are you even having education and you're like, you know, usually talking to people do you know even how to talk to people and stuff and i was like oh uh, well hello yeah but i couldn't find his surname also on your website there was there wasn't surname so i'm sorry but uh the main point is not about that and he could you know continue to attack me with this and i literally just left like 
Of course, I couldn't like show, you know, to him like uh, when I was talking to him that uh, like I'm weak or something. But after I put off like, you know, the phone. So uh, <laughs> I like really cried a little bit because I, I don't like when people, you know, pushing on you that they are they're attacking you because, well, I did nothing wrong. I didn't like send to them, you know, some, uh, I don't know, like uh, message which would hurt them, which, which would like, you know, be appropriate, like inconvenience in this situation. So. I just didn't put like the uh, third name, but still it was like official letter, everything was fine. And what gives you the right, you know, to talk to me like also with a stranger in that way? I mean, you can, okay, if you don't like it, if I wasn't wasn't right, you can express it in some other like, you know, manner in some other way. So oh, that's what I mean. That's what I don't like in Russia. And I think of course, maybe there is such, also people in Finland, but not not that much. At least I didn't meet them that oftenly. So the government support. <laughs> what I really like think that that's so sad that we don't have it in Russia. So that in Finland, if you're a student, for example, you're like turning 18, yeah. So you're already supposed to leave your like, you know, parents and stuff, and you're going to university you receiving some student like you know money so some support from the government it's like per month approximately 560 euros so you're able to rent some apartment for your own and like to buy some food for your own so you're like you know a growth mature person and you don't need to ask money from your parents so and your parents also like you know already feeling that uh, you know you're free that you're like you know adult and stuff and you're really learning to how to be adult because you have your own budget your own financial stuff and in Russia we don't have it and for example in Finland if you lose the job and you're for example not studying anywhere and stuff you will still receive like some amount per month like I think around 350 euros or something here in Russia no so if you're like for example you're turning 18 uh, well <laughs> well it's only your choice your only problem if you're going to university basically usually uh, people in Russia they are not working when they're students so like till you graduate like when you're like 22 already or something uh, it's the time when you just start to work so till that time you're kind of like asking for support from your parents and your parents like paying to you and also it's quite common that people like uh, when the young age that they're living with their parents like still so because well they just don't have any finances or for example if uh, their parents are not that rich and they can't afford like uh, like se separate apartment for them uh, then you know these people they're just living with their parents and kind of well that's kind of like supposed to be fine here but uh I don't know that's just mm, what I don't like maybe and what is the difference yeah between our two countries that uh, Finnish people I, I think they're becoming more self-independent quite early and I can't claim because uh, I'm also like living now in my own apartment so but i also have work so but some people for example students they're not i have lots of friends who are not working so they're just like you know <laughs> chilling <laughs> and for me that's weird and i think that um like when you're you know going on your own it's helping you to grow also to understand maybe like more about finances like how to spend them how to earn them like what to do with them and just living your own life like exploring it and stuff thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel not to skip next videos and see you guys soon bye